My name is Mike Castaney. I'm the lead roaster at Busker Du in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Uh, Busker Du Coffee is a specialty coffee roaster. Uh, it opened about maybe, I don't know, 2010, 2011. It's kind of fuzzy, but I've been here like eight years. I started out as a barista. Um, I was a touring musician for, for a number of years and slinging coffee is kind of like the one job that you can always come back to. One of the things that the owner James had said, like the qualifications to get the job is just like, love coffee and, and be, be nice to people essentially. And I'm pretty shy by nature, but I, I, I thought I could do that. I thought I could, I, I could be nice to people. <laughs> So yeah, I was, uh, I was a drummer mostly, uh, and I already really liked coffee a lot. Um, and touring actually made me love it. It's something that made sense. It was like a, one of the only healthy rituals I felt existed inside uh, the, the touring lifestyle. And I think that kind of helped me, that kind of sparked my analytical mind of like, this coffee was better than this one, and like, what made this better than the next one? And that kind of refined my palate a bit. Um, so it was kind of like research and development when I came back to my barista job. I was able to be more analytical of the work I was doing. Coffee engineer, I think, is a, is a good term for the company. Or at least we're engineering the experience of coffee for people. We want to bring, like, I guess what the industry calls specialty coffee uh, to like an accessible arena where people don't feel intimidated by it and where people can, af and af can afford it on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that's really important. One day, the owner said that one of the roasters was quitting. Um, so I just raised my hand and was like, I'll, I'll start roasting and kind of the rest is history, I guess. So yeah, roasting coffee uh, involves taking a slightly below room temperature raw product or green coffee, uh, putting that into a roasting drum that is charged to a specific temperature where the coffee and the ambient temperature of the roasting drum even out. And um, then you start to use time temperature and how much air you're introducing to the drum to guide it till it's brown, till the coffee goes from green to brown and it's in the cooling tray of the roasting. It's way closer to a science than it is an art. Um, and I think I would be satisfied knowing that, um, that your everyday commuter, your construction worker, your teacher, uh, vacationer, whatever it might be, that these people are enjoying this cup of coffee without thinking too hard about it. Um, you don't have to know the science behind this stuff, um, but you can like enjoy this specialty product that has been prepared in, in this way. When I describe everyone working together in Buskerdu, I mean, we kind of feel like a band um, in a weird way. Um, we're kind of being analytical of each other's jobs and uh, you know, hopefully the healthiest way possible uh, to create this experience for people and that's exactly what a band does um, in in the best case scenario of course I think uh, breaking off from being a touring musician wasn't like one stern realization emotionally I needed to find my own individuality and I think the coffee industry um, gave me the ability to, to do that uh, it was a tough decision but I think it was like the right one um, and, you know, it landed me here, um, roasting coffee, working with people I love, and, uh, you know, I, I found my way into adulthood somehow. <laughs> Creatively now, uh, music is still in my life in a huge way. I still mix things, I edit podcasts, I record people, I produce. Uh, with recording, you know, you need precision, you need the right microphones, you need the right speakers, um, you need to be hearing things for what they really are so you can make a, a more transparent product. Same thing with coffee. You want a precision roaster, you want a precision grinder that gets down to the, like the finest microns that you need. You want to invest in how you taste things, how you hear things. How do I get a flavor out of this? How do I get a sound out of this? And the only way to do that is to um, figure out ways to measure it properly. I think speakers and microphones do that. I think roasters do that. I think uh, different brewing methods do that in coffee. So I think that that might be the parallel. A performance on a stage in front of a bunch of people versus like roasting coffee in a shop, like it feels like two very separate things. I see it as a, as a path more than a separation. But what did I record in the past 10 years? Um, what kind of impact did our coffee make on, on a community in, in the past 10 years? Um, and kind of seeing the, the big picture thing. I think that's what I get excited for. 
And I think that's what keeps me going in, in my day-to-day -day, is the uh, long-term prospect of making something cool that I can be proud of.